channel. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the hair experience. We talk about hair Curtis, talk about my new studio and how cool it is and how crappy my audio is. I ordered this really cool microphone that cost me a whole bunch of money and I didn't get the adapter for the, the camera so it can plug in. <laughs> it's always something. I, I, you know, it is what it is, but the audio will never be bad again after today's video. I really want to make it right for you guys. Okay, so uh, guys, we can get hair back on your head. Super easy. Um, MyHairExperience.com will get you the knowledge, the ebooks, and the video ebook, and the starter kit if you order your hair from somewhere else. Totally cool. Um, and HairByMHE.com will get you the hair so you can have it on your head at 20% off. Use uh, coupon code MHE20. What are you talking about today, Curtis? I get, I get questions and stuff like that, that that I don't cover sometimes, and I thought maybe this is a good thing to cover. Um, I get people who get units and units from all over the world, doesn't matter where it's from, and they say that they have a hard time with it sticking longer than two days or three days. So I, I got a little regimen here. I got some crap here on my desk uh, that require necessities. <sighs> Guys, if we don't clean the unit and the unit's not in perfect, clean condition, and your head's not in a perfect, clean condition, this is not going to stick um, at all. Zero. Um, it might stick for a day or two, it might stick for 20 minutes, it might never stick. All of this is super important because it's, it's maintenance, and maintenance is the nightmare to this. So the less maintenance we have to do, the better off we are. So I just want to go into this a little bit and show you guys really how to clean a unit and I've, this is going to be, a, this is a polyurethane base, um, but a Swiss lace, I'll, I'll kind of, kind of hint around the changes and difference with that. This is just an old busted unit that I have. Um, what I do to start with, I even got cotton ball stuck to it. What I do to start with, guys, is I am going to totally douse, and this is my stick it, uh, uh, remover, stuck be gone. I douse the, the, the base with the product and I let it sit. I pull the unit off my head, okay, and then I start to clean my scalp. So I do that and then I spray the uh, C22, whatever you've got, whatever you're working with, onto the base and I let it sit for about 10 minutes. We obviously in the, the uh, video world don't have time for that right now. Tick tock, tick tock. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go over this with you guys, kind of a step-by-step -step process to get this done. So um, I sprayed this, now I'm cleaning my scalp and I'm letting this chill, just sitting there, just letting the chemical do the work. And when it comes to tape on these unit guys, these units, plural, you have to let the product do the job or you will tear the unit. This stuff is so thin that it will tear if you just go to rip the tape off of the unit just without putting any product on it to take it off. And it doesn't have to be mine, it could be C22 or whatever you're using. So super easy. So what I always have is just a nasty old rag. This is the one that I kind of clean my units with. Um, and you don't want to use this twice. And I say twice. You can use it twice, but only use this for your uh, C22 or your Stuck Be Gone or whatever. Do not use this for your uh, final application of using your uh, rubbing alcohol to make sure the unit's 100% clean. Because the residue on this, if it goes back onto the unit, the cleaner will actually stay behind and the glue won't stick to that either. So that's what we got. That's very important. So make sure you have two different rags, one that only has rubbing alcohol on it and one that only has your C22 on it. So what I do, like this one is just, like I said, it's been sitting in a, I don't even know why I kept it. Um, it's been sitting in the cabinet forever, but I've sprayed my product on and obviously I haven't let it sit the 10 minutes that I should have, but I'm going to try to zoom in so you guys can see this. But what I do is like, I've got tape all the way around the back perimeter and then there's glue up front, okay? What I do, and guys, this is my new studio. How exciting is this? I've got all these great lights, this great microphone that's freaking $300 and doesn't freaking work. And I got all this cool little pretty stuff, man, to help me set it up. I'm kind of excited. I can tell you right now, guys, that I have the best damn looking channel when it comes to hair stuff for guys. Yeah. I'm just being ignorant. 
Anyways, what I do is I, I take my um, my rag here and I just stick my finger in it like this and I start to roll the tape. Okay, I roll the tape from where I think the edge is. Okay, what I'm doing is just rolling away. And then once I get an edge to come up like this, now I just start slowly pulling it. Now it'll pull better for you guys. Okay, I've slowly pulled this piece off, all right? Sit that to the side. And it'll pull a little bit easier for you once you let the product do the work. Um, so you don't have to, uh, it's kind of like scrubbing bubbles in the tub. You need the product to work for a little bit for it to actually do what it does. So um, I've done that. Now I go to my next one. I can just kind of see my leading edge right there on where the tape was. I get my dry rag and I kind of roll it like this and now it starts to roll up. I pick it up with my fingers. And it's nasty and grimy. Okay. And then I just pull it off. Sit it to the side. All right. Now I go all the way around the unit like this. Okay. And once I get that done, you can somewhat sometimes still feel this kind of sticky residue. Don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it at all. All right, now that we've done all the way around the perimeter, hypothetically, we've done all the way around the perimeter, now we're gonna go to the front hairline. And this is kind of, uh, you wanna do the best you can not to get the glue, let me get this piece of tape out of the way. You wanna do the best you can not to get the glue rolled down into the hair, because then it, turns into another step. But it's, guys, it's gonna happen. It's just, it's gonna happen. Um, you don't have a choice. Also, everybody says that you can't use tape on an 03 uh, millimeter super thin skin. Well, there you go, yes you can. Um, and I, I'm proof in the pudding, I guess you would say. In the pudding, proof in the pudding. All right, now that we've got, I'm gonna kinda spray one more time, because I want the product to do the work. The, the more you go banging on this thing, the less it's gonna last. The rougher you are, the less it's gonna last. Okay, the less, the, the no less time. <laughs> now I'm being stupid. So now I've got this stuff on the front and what I'm doing is just kind of taking my rag like this and I'm just kind of rolling like that, okay? Kind of rolling across the front lightly and letting the rag and the product do the work. All right, so. If you can see, I'll try to zoom in here. What I've got is the product is collecting towards that leading edge right there, okay? If it ends up in the hair, don't freak out, okay? If it doesn't, even more better, all right? More better is not a word that you should say, but it's something that I just said and we're gonna make it work. So I'm rolling it, I'm letting the rag try to stick to the product. All right, now we've done that. Now you can see that it's gonna go down into the hair a little bit. Just kind of pull that little nastiness off right there. No big deal. And kind of set it to the side. Now you're gonna get, out of one of my units, cleaning it the right way, you're probably gonna see 10 hairs come out from doing a cleaning process like this. Maybe five, maybe 10, depending on how old the unit is. So you're just gonna keep rolling like that. And then you're gonna end up with a unit that is totally clean. I say clean, it doesn't have any more glue like that right there on the unit at all. And you're gonna know that because when you look at the unit and you feel the unit, like if I feel this right now in the middle because there was never any bond there, all I feel is like the material and the slickness of the product on there. If I go somewhere where there's tape, I can feel the tape. Or if I go somewhere where there was tape before, I can feel the residue of the tape, okay? What I'll do also in that area, once, once I've gotten rid of the tape, I'll just kind of go over it like this. And you can see it actually kind of roll up like that, okay? Like that, you, you get a little bit of nastiness, all right? Once you've got the nastiness off, you're gonna get a, all of your nasty is gone. You're gonna get a, your alcohol rag, and this is just 91% rubbing alcohol. Get some on the rag, okay? And then you're gonna wipe over the area. Oh, a key point that I missed. Once you get all of the material off of it, you're actually gonna wash it. Wash it with shampoo, good shampoo, not junk, okay? You're gonna wash it with good shampoo and do not condition it, okay? Do not, because you don't want those silicones or waxes or anything like that on the base itself. Then you're gonna dry it. What I do to dry it 
is I'll lay the unit out flat like this and I'll roll it up actually in the towel. Okay, I'll roll the towel up into it and just kind of press it. Okay, press it to let the towel soak up as much as it's gonna soak up and then I'll lay it back out. Now we're back here. All right, I've got my alcohol on my rag and I just kind of lightly go over it, okay? You might see, now obviously we didn't finish this one, you might see some of these little nasty, janky looking pieces of glue right here, okay? If you see that, make sure you focus on that area a little bit to make sure you get it good and clean. But this is the key, guys. It has to be clean. Once you go to the last step, the very last step past this, okay, you've done a good wipe down with your rag to make sure you don't have any contamination, let that dry, okay? Then you're gonna go back over the unit and you're gonna feel it and it's gonna feel dry. It shouldn't feel wet, it shouldn't feel damp, it shouldn't even feel remotely sticky, nor should your head. Your head should feel slick and clean. Once you've done that, you're gonna get yourself a cotton ball, okay? You're gonna get your cotton ball not dripping wet, just moist. I like that word. And then once you've got a moist cotton ball, you're just gonna go all the way totally across it with the cotton ball, and then you're gonna let that dry for Probably take a minute or so, I guess. And then once that's dry, you're good to go. Make sure now, okay, to a, to a lace unit. You can do the same exact procedures that I just showed you, or you can use a cotton ball, all right? And if you use a cotton ball, do not spray the cleaner on the base, all right? Just let the, the tape be there and let the cotton ball or the rag, you can use a rag, and do the same procedure like I showed you and let it dry up that nasty tape and then just roll off the tape and pull it off. Then you're gonna follow the same procedure after that, a little light wipe down. Alcohol is the enemy to these. It'll dry out a polyurethane unit. It will, dr it will just destroy a lace unit. That's why you have to be so sparingly to make sure you're just trying to get that top layer of, of, of cleaner off or what have you um, so that it'll stick good. I mean, at the end of the day, guys, if it doesn't stick, What's the point of even having this? It's not even worth having. So we kind of have to take the bad with the good when it comes to rubbing alcohol because that, that has to be sanitary and ready to go. That's what I got today, guys. I hope that was informative and I hope that helps. Um, I hope the video is better. I hope the lighting is better. I hope you guys can see me. And uh, I'm going to try this whole Zoom thing and uh, maybe I can get it to work. So uh, audio will be better next time. Check me out at myhairexperience.com. I would appreciate it. And guys, I appreciate your orders. It does mean a lot to me, and customer service is a big deal to me. If you need me, um, hit me on Facebook, um, Instagram, phone, whatever, and I'll help you how I can. We'll see you in a couple days, guys. Thanks.